Hi Taurus, this is Teresa. Welcome to January and Happy New Year. I'm getting ready to do your new forecast for the month of January. And first I want to call in some good energy for this reading. And I want to say thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And thank you for those who have left comments. I read every single one of them and I try to answer them as soon as I can. And also thank you for those who have ordered readings. I really have enjoyed working with you all. And I'm glad that some of these readings are helping people. And I'm glad that you're enjoying them on YouTube. So let's see what's happening for Taurus in the month of January. Um, we have a full moon in Cancer on January 1st. And then we have a new moon in Capricorn on the 16th. And then another full moon in Leo, which is an eclipse. So uh, we've got a lot, lot going on in January. So let's see what Taurus needs to know about love and relationships for the month of January. What does Taurus need to know about love and relationships for the month of January? What does Taurus need to know about love? There's also this full moon has a grand water trine connected to it. So then that's favorable to Taurus because um, it's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So this could be an emotional um, full moon. Okay, Three of Wands, Five of Cups, The Fool, The Four of Cups, The Three of Pentacles, The Two of Wands, The Page of Wands, the Devil, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So, you start out um, with the Three of Wands. You could be in the process of forming some type of partnership in January, and this could be related to work. Um, or it could also represent that you've been putting your energy towards something, and maybe up until now, you haven't seen results or things have been slow. Um, you may have started something new and you're waiting to see where it's going to go. Um, and But now in January, I think you're going to start to see some success. You're going to start to see the, the results of all your hard work and effort. Because the Three of Wands is a card of... Um, it's a card of partnership working in, in a group with a group of people or a team. Um, and it's also about seeing the results, seeing things start to happen. Um, but while, so I'm seeing mixed energy here. So you're having career success on the one hand, but on the other hand, you might be having problems in relationship. So you have the five of cups here. So crossing this success is this, sense of regret or you feel like there's a relationship that's kind of on shaky ground in the month of January. Five of Cups is a card of focusing on your losses. It's a card of regret. So you might have had a falling out with someone and now you're regretting um, certain things like you're, maybe you, you said things or you did things that you now regret. Um, it doesn't mean that the relationship is over because there are still two cups here. So if you've had a falling out with someone and you're feeling like, gee, I wish I, I had handled things differently. I wish I didn't say what I said or did, did what I did. You know, you might have done something that caused some kind of upset in the relationship. Um, if you focus on the positive, you can salvage the situation, but you have to focus on what's good about the person rather than their flaws. Um, if you can do that, you can save the relationship. Um, you have the Fool card here in your past, so a part of you is thinking about starting a whole new life, or you might be thinking about moving into a whole new career, because the Fool is, um, you know, a brand new beginning, getting involved in something where you don't have a lot of experience, you don't have a lot of past experience to draw upon. So there could be an I have been like there could be like that an opportunity came up in the recent past that's going to put you on a new path. And in the four, and you have the four of cups here in the recent past. The four of cups, it's a card of feeling 
unappreciated or feeling bored. So maybe the work that you've been doing um, is just not fulfilling or you're not, you're, it's kind of routine and you're kind of bored with it and you're, or you're feeling that um, you're being taken for granted either in a relationship or a work situation that you're not feeling valued. It, this is a card of feeling like I'm doing all this work, I'm doing all these things, but nobody cares. Nobody values the work that I do. Nobody values my efforts. And um, maybe I should start looking for some other thing to do. You know, maybe I should look for another job. Or maybe I should look for another relationship. You kind of this is a card of feeling dissatisfied. Um, and something is being offered to you. Something will come up. It's coming up. Um, but you're not sure you want to accept it. So it could be that there's an opportunity to, to partner with someone, to get involved in a, in a situation that could lead to career success. It could lead to recognition. But you're kind of like a little bit hesitant to accept it. It's like, I don't know if this is the right thing for me. I don't know if I should accept this. It will, it will mean a change. It will mean like starting over in a new um, situation, but you're not sure if it's the right one for you. So you're contemplating. So if you're thinking about leaving a relationship for something else, you're just like, I'm not, I'm not that miserable. I mean, I'm not happy, but I'm not that miserable that I'm really forced to give up what I have. So you're just kind of considering. You haven't been taking action just yet. Um, the Three of Pentacles coming up in the future, though, is showing that whatever you have just recently started, you might have started a project or a new, it could be a new relationship or it could be a new career path that is going to lead to recognition. Um, and you're going to be seen as, you could, you could even get a promotion or some type of uh, recognition in your career. Um, I know this is supposed to be a love reading, but I can't, you know, uh, I can't deny the Three of Pentacles here. And you have the Two of Wands coming up. So there is this definite partnership coming up in January where you're going to have to really think about it. Is this what I want? Because you, you can um, get results. You can make things happen in January for you. You can, you know, if you accept this partnership, it could like lead to recognition. And it could also lead to a, a more of a leadership role because you have the Queen of Wands here. Um, so I feel like there could be some offer coming up in January and you're going to have to decide if you want to take it or not. Um, the, also, if there's a relationship issue, um, so on the one hand, you have this career success potential um, depending on whether you want to accept it or not, there's, there's a potential there. There's, um, good, um, energy with that. On the other hand, you're trying to decide on a personal relationship that, um, you might be involved with someone who, um, who either has a drinking or a drug problem or has some type, or you feel, or you feel somehow, there, there's some kind of um, compulsive quality with this relationship, where you feel like no matter how many times you break up, you always wind up being drawn back in. Um, with the Devil card, it's a card of physical attraction, strong, um, um, like a, almost a compelling, a magnetic attraction to someone, where no matter how many times you try to leave, and you think it's over, all of a sudden, you know, you wind up hearing from the person and you're back in. And I feel like that that's a cycle that's been going on. And it could be that this person, it, with the devil here, this person is struggling with some type of um, addictive behavior. Like either, like I said, either they have some kind of drug problem or they have some kind of drinking problem. Or they just have, a, they're very passionate and they have very strong desires or there's some kind of um, thing that keeps drawing you back in and it's very hard to break away from this person. And you may hear from this person. Um, so if you had a falling out with someone, you're going to hear, uh, you're either going to get a call or a message that's going to bring good news. And it might even be, you're going to have an opportunity to talk about your feelings. You're going to have an opportunity to express how you feel with this person. Um, at the same time, uh, but sometimes, like, the devil card can represent an unhealthy attachment that you have a hard time breaking away from. Um, you don't really want to... You feel like um, that there are certain things that are not right with the relationship. Um, 
and but you're feeling and you're kind of feeling a sadness about walking away too it's like a part of you wants to leave and another part of you is like i don't know i i'm afraid i'll regret it if i walk away and if i destroy this relationship and move on um so you're having mixed energies in january it's career success coupled with this uncertainty in this relationship like trying to make a decision what to do with this relationship do i break away from it do i stay with it um, because at times this relationship could be very overwhelming you feel like this person is very needy or draining at times and you sometimes you just feel like you need space from it you need to get away from it but then at the same time then when you pull away then you feel guilty like that you're away and you want to come back and so it's this back and forth kind of energy um, in career, though, you are on in line to get some type of promotion or some type of leadership position. This could also represent the Queen of Wands. Um, can represent that you need to take a leadership role in your life. That if you because this is in your wish fulfillment um, area, so you need to make a decision about what you want and where you want to go, and take you know take the lead in your own life. Be your own leader. Get yourself on the right path. In some cases, in some relationships, this could also represent a rival that you might have. Um, there might be someone who's very um, aggressive or ambitious, and you might feel like um, they want to take what you have. Or you might be involved with someone who's attracted to someone else, even. Um, so you're going to have to... But I don't think... I think you can... You're going to have to take charge of the situation. You can't just let it, you know, leave it alone. You have to fight for what you believe in. So if it's a, if it's a relationship, you have to fight for the relationship and try to salvage the situation. And the way you can do that is by um, not trying to force an issue, but trying to just communicate your feelings. Communicate your feelings of love and tenderness. Um, focus on the positive issues within the relationship and you can save it. Now with these new moons, these full and new moons coming, um, it, it, you're definitely having to balance the full moon on um, on January 1st is activating your third and ninth house. So there could be some communications projects, some publishing project that's coming up um, that you need to work on. But you also have Jupiter and Mars in your seventh house. So that's um, bringing luck to relationships and Neptune is in your 11th house so that um, can actually bring if you work if you're doing something creative that can be a dream come true kind of aspect where you achieve a dream if it involves creativity um, the downside of Neptune is that you could be not seeing the truth in a situation you could be idealizing a friend or relationship um, and you might be um, not seeing their bad qualities, like you're only seeing the good qualities, um, or you're 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 not having a realistic view of a person or a friendship. Um, or it could also Neptune in the eleventh could also mean um, that you want to join some type of spiritual group, or you want to do things um, to help others. So um, the new moon again is activating your is connecting your ninth house and seventh house with the twelfth house. Now this time Uranus is in the twelfth house, so um, you might feel like rebelling around the middle of the month, um, but make sure you're not rebelling based on psychological programming. Like you really want to, uh, you might be just reacting to some type of um, unconscious programming. So you want to be careful not to go over the top, um, and just take like a don't don't be impulsive. Um, at this time you might be um, meeting different people you might be wanting to travel you might be traveling in the middle of the month you might be got, connecting with other people at a distance um, and then the eclipse at the end of the month in Taurus let's see it will activate your 4th and 10th house um, and again the 7th house Jupiter will still be in your 7th and this eclipse, Venus is squaring Jupiter, but that's not usually a bad thing. I think that um, Jupiter uh, usually brings optimism and luck in partnerships. So I think that you're going to be able to, you're going to have really good career success 
in the month of January. You have very good, but you might have to be torn between work and what's going on in your personal life. So there could be a lot of stuff going on at work where you're really busy and you're making progress, but then there's some issue at home that you're having to deal with. Um, that's kind of taken away your energy a little bit. Um, and it's going to be like kind of an emotional month, but, um, but I think, I think that if, that if you focus on the positive and you focus on the positive qualities of the person, you could save the relationship. And so you don't have to let the relationship die. I think there's still hope when there's a, the five of cups here. And you might even be hearing from someone. Someone may want to talk about, you know, tell you how they feel. I think it's really important to sit down and, and communicate your feelings. There could be a child. Sometimes pages represent children. So there could be children involved. So you want to think twice before you end a relationship. You want to try and work things out. And you can work things out. Um, and you can overcome this. It seems like it could be that someone in your life is having a temptation. There's a temp because the devil can sometimes represent strong desires and temptation. Um, and maybe they're feeling out of control, like they, they just can't break away. Um, they can't stop, help themselves. They can't stop their behavior. It's kind of like, it's like especially like an addiction, where you know they want to quit whatever they're doing, but they can't. They just keep falling into the same trap. Um, so um, what could help is if you... Um, spend more time, spend some time giving them some tenderness, giving them some love, telling them how you feel without being confrontive, without being reactive. Um, you might have an opportunity um, to save this relationship, um, but you're going you're gonna to have to take action. You're going to have to take leader. You can't sit around waiting for things to happen. You have to take action. So whether you're um, fighting for your career or fighting for your relationship, um, you can salvage the situation. Um, but I feel like the, that the focus is more going to be on career success in January and you're trying to, you know, informing positive partnership, forming um, partnerships with people that can really help you in your career. And if you do form a relationship in the month of January, you could be forming a relationship with someone who's very optimistic, very who, who can may even have be financially secure, um, someone who's like got a lot of energy. Um, so if there, if you decide to leave the relationship and you decide to go into a new direction, you could be connecting with someone who is um, going to make you feel financially secure, someone that um, is um, has like Jupiterian energy. Um, so it could be a Sagittarius type, someone who's very adventurous, someone who likes who's very positive very outgoing, um, that could, um, that could be a possibility. Um, so that's my forecast for Taurus for January. Um, remember with the eclipse, um, the, something may be coming to a culmination at the eclipse time. So whether that, but, and it also, the eclipses bring truths to the surface. So if you're trying to decide on a course of action, by the end of the month, you should know what direction to go in, one way or another. You're going to see certain truths will come to the surface. And the eclipse being in Leo, um, it's about self-expression. It's about, you know, you have to do what, what feels right to you. Um, you can't keep doing things for the sake of others and not also um, take care of what you need. So you're gonna if a job is not working or a relationship is not giving you what you need, you may decide that you need to make some changes so that you can express yourself in a, in a, so that you feel like you're expressing your true self, that you're doing work that really speaks to you. Um, so you have an opportunity for new beginnings, um, but you just want to make sure you're you're not that you're giving this relationship enough. Um, that you're trying to make it work. And when, if you reach a point where you say, I've tried everything and I need to leave, that's a different thing. But um, at least I think that in some cases you can salvage the situation. You just have to do it in a healthy way. And if there's some unhealthy aspects to the relationship, then you need to, 
get this person needs to get help or you need to maybe get advice on how to deal with the person but you can so solve it you can solve it and you could um, move on to success with this three of pentacles so I wish you much luck and love in the month of January and happy new year and I hope this reading was a help to you I will talk to you again next month okay bye